My video for February the 17th, 2018 is entitled, Is Donald Trump Really a Godsend? <laughs> Most Friday and Sunday evenings, I attend a metaphysical group. This was the announcement for the Friday night meeting. Quote, we will have a discussion. Things are changing very rapidly. What has changed in your life in the past 10 years? End quote. One of those attending is a very staunch Donald Trump supporter. While he used to be an atheist, he has changed from that position over the years. Of course, I have gone a bit in the opposite direction, questioning why a loving God would allow the world to be run by less than honorable beings. The range of this discussion, or of the discussion, is literally all over the place. What we have in common is that all of us want positive change for humanity. My friend thinks Trump is setting the traps for the pedophiles and others among the elite who have committed crimes against humanity. I wish I shared his optimism. How about you? Do you see him draining the swamp as he promised? I'd really like to hear what my listeners think. Of course, I do not wish to argue with anyone, but I would like to take the pulse of my listeners. Indeed, I love discussion groups where I can see and hear how other people approach certain things. In a recent meeting, not the one that I just attended, uh, just actually just before I'm recording this, uh, one of the people that I talked to, and I think I mentioned that in a previous video, uh, thinks that Donald Trump is, is terrible and wishes that Hillary had gotten elected. I don't think a single person in the group tonight holds that, holds that opinion. We all realize that Hillary and the Bushes and, and the cabal have been the less than honorable beings that have uh, held very high places in the political and economic structure on planet Earth. Uh, I wish, however, that I could have the confidence that the swamp is really being drained. Now, one of the things that came out is the number of admirals and generals, in other words, military people that Trump has put in positions of, of authority in his uh, administration. And this is something that uh, has not been done uh, a whole lot previously. Now, uh, one of the heroes that was pointed out in, uh, in the discussion was Eisenhower and his uh, final speech before he left office, warning us about the military industrial complex and hoping that we could take action. Of course, his granddaughter, uh, Laura Eisenhower, uh, is a very positive influence. And I mean, she's one of the people that I look up to and, and respect a lot. Uh, in any case, I wish I had that kind of respect for Donald Trump. He certainly has shown his ability to, to make a lot of money. I mean, that's a given. And he, to do that, he's had to play the game uh, of the money changers. And he was a Democrat for a long time, and now he's a Republican. And there were people in the group that were uh, suggesting that he's, uh, you know, just waffling back and forth to try to, to, try to uh, play a role and gain support, which obviously winning the election to the surprise of, uh, of the establishment, and especially of Hillary and Obama, uh, you know, that sort of threw everything uh, off guard and, and they uh, did not want Trump in office because perhaps he actually is going to drain the swamp. Now they, of course, they uh, said that they're going to be sending a lot of these people to Guantanamo and, uh, having military tribunals. And of course, that was part of the discussion tonight. Some of the things that I've mentioned in 
and other videos recently were brought into the discussion, some of them by me and some of them brought up by other people in the group. Uh, ironically, there was only one lady in the group tonight, which sort of surprised me. Usually there's at least uh, more of a balance, but that's not the case tonight. It was just one lady and what, uh, six or seven gentlemen. Uh, and there, the one lady that I expected to be there tonight, well, actually a couple of ladies that I expected to be there tonight, uh, had other, uh, other things on their plate. In any case, folks, the point that I'm trying to make, or I should say the question that I'm trying to ask, is what do you folks think about what's going on in the United States? It's my opinion, and the opinion of quite a few others in the group, uh, that as the United States goes, the world is going to shift in that direction. The controllers uh, seem to be threatened. Now, I don't know if that's a game or not. Uh, one of the uh, prognosticators uh, came out recently and said that uh, the, Roth, uh, the Rothschilds and uh, the Jesuits or the Catholic Church, the Pope and, uh, and uh, other uh, factors that are playing into world the world political thing are forming some kind of an alliance. Well, that to me would be a very bad thing unless there was actually a, a transformation of character. You can't have people with bad character uh, running political systems or economic systems if you expect there to be peace on earth because war and creating conflict has always been the dark, way it's a, it's an insane an insane way but it is the way the world has been running for lifetime after lifetime after lifetime going back a very very long time and i want to see real change i want to feel that human life is not just some meaningless game that we play and we keep getting a chance to, to get it right. I, I'd like to think that by having the attitude that I've tried to hold most of my life of loving my brothers and sisters and reaching out to people with different perspectives and trying to communicate honestly and without, without argumentation and without putting the other person down, I'd like to think that that is a, uh, a good thing. Uh, but whether it's good or not depends on how effective it is. And I'd like to think that I've made some kind of an impact. Uh, so I'm asking for people's opinion. Now, how many of you are going to take time to actually comment and write? My previous video, as of just before I came here, has not had a single comment, not a single comment on, I don't think it on YouTube or Facebook for that matter, uh, on the video that was just before this one. Uh, why? I don't know. There's people that like it, but there's, you know, and there's a couple that didn't like it on, on YouTube, but no one has actually commented. And I'd like to get some feedback. So if you're willing and you're listening to this, please take some time and, and let me know what you think about Donald Trump. Is he a godsend? Or is he a charlatan just playing another dark role and it's more deception, the same thing that we've experienced so long in, uh, in human history? Uh, so I, I'm, I'm actually finished. Even though my 10 minutes aren't up yet, I'm going to pull the plug and I appreciate, again, your response and thank you. Namaste.